Welcome back to Breaking Changes, where we highlight what's going on in the Kiskit universe. I'm your host, Nick Braun. This episode covers the release of Kiskit 0.45, the last release before Kiskit 1.0, and the changes become less breaking. In case you missed it, the previous Kiskit release 0.44 renamed Kiskit Terra to just Kiskit, whereas before that, Kiskit was a meta package including the IBMQ provider, Kiskit Air, and some applications modules in addition to Terra. Note that due to namespace issues, you may have better luck uninstalling and reinstalling Kiskit with pip uninstall Kiskit followed by pip install Kiskit. This episode has it all, features, performance, deprecation, and those breaking changes. Let's dive in. We'll start with the ability to apply a layout to a sparse polyop class from Kiskit Quantum Info. This is particularly useful when using the estimator primitive to calculate observables, but transpiling locally. Simply, it maps the operators to the qubits selected during transpilation. Let's take a look. For this example, we'll use the real amplitudes ansatz as our circuit. We can create our operator from sparse polyop consisting of the yx, xz, and xi operators. We'll then instantiate the estimator on fake Nairobi v2. We'll transpile this locally, so we'll skip transpilation in the estimator, and we'll have an array of thetas as our parameters. In this way, we're going to transpile with optimization level 3 on our circuit, and we see the result here, where qubits 0 and 1 have been moved to qubits 1 and 2, and the rest of the qubits on the device are not used. Now we use this new feature, apply layout, to convert our operator to the transpiled version. We can see here the operators y, x, x, z, and x, i on the abstract circuit consisting of two qubits to the actual circuit consisting of seven qubits, and the operators have been moved to the corresponding position. We can then run this in the estimator to calculate our observables. The next feature to highlight is the introduction of a Sabre pre-layout pass. Sabre is used to add necessary swap gates for routing circuits on quantum hardware with limited connectivity. This new pass allows a better initial guess of the layout, which can improve performance of this stochastic algorithm. Let's take a look. For this example, we'll use the efficient SU2 ansatz to generate a 16-qubit circuit with circular entanglement. We'll assign parameters to this circuit and measure all the qubits. And we have this circuit right here. Now, let's map it to a large provider. We'll get fake Sherbrooke and look at the coupling map. Here you can see the heavy hexagons that we need to map our 16 qubit circuit to. We'll import the pass manager from kiskit.transpiler and the Sabre pre layout pass along with the Sabre layout. The Sabre pre layout pass will generate a better guess for the stochastic Sabre layout algorithm. And we see the map circuit here. Sabre pre layout enhances the performance and allows us to map bigger circuits with better guesses to larger systems. We can see the layout on the actual device here, in the black qubits. On to deprecations, starting with Kiskit extensions. The following classes from Kiskit extensions have migrated to kiskit.circuit.library. UC polyrote gate, UCRX gate, UCRY gate, UCRZ gate, unitary gate, Hamiltonian gate, and initialize. The classes single qubit unitary and snapshot have been deprecated overall due to similar existing functionality elsewhere. The unroller recursively expands abstract gates that do not exist on actual hardware to a target basis, and it is now deprecated in favor of the basis translator. From now on, parameter values will no longer be bound. They will be assigned instead. Hence, dot bind parameters has been deprecated in favor of dot assign parameters when attaching updated numerical values or other parameter classes to parameters. Duplicated circuit gate methods are also deprecated to preserve a unique mapping between gate and method. As dot i is now dot id for identity, dot c not is out, dot cx is in, dot to foley is out, dot ccx is in for controlled controlled not, dot mct is out, dot mcx is in, and dot fredkin is out, and dot c swap is in. And finally, our breaking changes. We're cleaning house here in preparation for Kiskit 1.0. So we are removing all the code that has been throwing deprecation errors for more than three months as per deprecation policy. All the code from Kiskit Terra 0.16, 0.19, 0.20, and 0.21 is now gonzo. Unparameterized and uncontrolled gates, such as many of your favorites, are being refactored to Python singletons and will thus be immutable, meaning you cannot change their properties after instantiation. This will enhance performance for building larger circuits and binding parameters to them. 
And lastly, let's thank the Kiskit contributors that made this stable release possible. I've been your host, Nick Braun, and thank you for dealing with the breaking changes.